I'm gonna need your help with this, okay? Because my next question is about school and and um, uh, teenagers and young adults. Yeah. So, Officer Mullen of the Seattle Police Department <laughs> was, was kind enough. Man, it was a very nice conversation, by the way. Big shout out to Officer Mullen. You know, you gotta be fair with people, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the Seattle Police. Um, we're, we're trying to get a message out to the South End. And so that, so now you see, I waited to SPD. I waited till I got the South End guy in here so we can <laughs> sp spread this message. But Officer Mullen of the Seattle Police Department contacted us and wanted help in getting the word out. They said that over there near the, the boat launch by Rainier Beach High School mm -hmm. and even there at the Safeway, man, you got a lot of teens that are congregating over there. Yeah. And not only that, the Officer Mullen said, well, they appear to be sharing cigarettes mm -hmm. and they're definitely sharing libations. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I've never had an officer talk like that. He's like, they're sharing life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so for people to understand the code, they're basically drinking and sharing yeah, the bottle. Ain't, ain't you, no see, you, you, you see what I'm anyway. saying? <laughs> well, <laughs> no, the, the officer what? didn't make an assumption that it <laughs> wasn't a cigarette. You know, he's, a, he's assuming the best. You see yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? But, man, um, you know, according to the SPD and, like, you know, the fact that they're reaching out to Africatown and yeah. other organ community groups means that, like, man, they don't want to go over there and be turning on the right. lights and try to cite people and this and that yeah. and everything else, man. But how I, I bring this question to you is clearly that's an area right there. And if you're in the South End, mm -hmm. if your kids are out there and everything else, man, let's hurry up and get over this. He said they were shooting a music video. This is the thing. And so Officer <laughs> Mother was like, man, I appreciate the artistic ingenuity yeah, yeah. of our young people to want to shoot a music video there in the safe way. Yeah. But, you know, the sharing of the libations right. probably isn't, you know, it's out of the, <laughs> the social distancing uh -huh. guidelines. But over, overall, so, yeah, like I said, parents, if you're out there, please, you know what I'm saying? Young people, man, let's let's get through this. We got a few weeks of this, man. You know what right. I'm saying? Let's try to pack, practice best social distancing. But for the most part, man, school-age kids, mm -hmm. young adults, are they listening to these guidelines? Whew. Uh, I mean, that's a loaded question. I, <laughs> I mean, you know, over there in the landing, you know, the, the landing space uh, across from, uh, Rainier Beach High School, uh, actually uh, Bear Sheba Park. I was, you know, I'll go on my daily walks just to, you know, get my vitamin D, get my sunshine. So I was passing by Bear Sheba the other day, and I mean, I got love for my folks. I got love for my people. You know that. You know that I do, Amari. But man, it was, there were like 30 people, and it was looking like Medea's family reunion. And wow. I was like, come on, y'all. You got the barbecue grill out and everything. <laughs> it's dope. like, man, you, well, I mean, y'all ain't six inches from each other. I know it ain't six feet. So it's, <laughs> I mean, and, and you know, I, I understand at the end of the day, it's like you're, you're seeking, you're still, those folks, they're seeking belonging, right? right? And so, you know, we don't, obviously don't want to shame them or anything like, like that. And I, I understand, when, especially when you've been cooped up for so long, you know, you want that connection. But I'll say we can have that connection and, and do it in a, in, a, in a proper way that doesn't jeopardize our safety. Well, also, you know what I'm saying? We, we can't stereotype everybody, but the South End has, a, especially black people, people of color, has a high population of people that are living with, with the, you know, the, the whole family or generational. So, you know what I'm saying? Big mama might be in the house and there also might be a child in the house. Right. And so, you know what I'm saying? You're 17, 18, 22, whatever, and you're out yeah. there. You know what I'm saying? You you run a risk, at least as we understand the science right now, of coming back home and making grandma sick, big mama right. sick, making a child sick in the home. Right, because there are some yeah, there are some studies that are saying that it, it isn't just that it is you know six feet isn't enough. That it has to be a little bit more than that. Yeah, and it could, of and course. It could and, and could possibly be airborne. You never know. It, the wind blows the wrong way. You I never mean, know. The the thing is, I I would say to to the young people there. Um, over by Rainier Beach, across the city of Seattle, anybody that's viewing this, man, we've, it's, it's crazy when you hear somebody older saying it, because, man, we all been there. We thought we were <laughs> Superman, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. it, but it's true that it's like, man, I definitely understand where you at right now in life, man. You feel good. It's right. great. You could probably run a mile in four minutes. You might slam dunk. You do yeah. anything. But it's like, man, and, and your immune system might be, you know, fantabulistic, but, you know, the social distancing, a big majority of it isn't about you. Mm -hmm. It's about who you might come in contact with, exactly. especially a loved one and infect them. Right. And, and you know, we, we do know that, that it's, it's asymptomatic. So, I mean, somebody could 
You know, if you have a 25 year old who, who apparently doesn't doesn't show any signs or, or symptoms, and and they could still pass it along to somebody. So, again, like you said, I mean, we, we want to protect our community. We we know we don't. We don't have a huge population in in Seattle as is. Man. And we want to make sure G- not to de- decrease Listen, that population. Let me tell you, man, g- gentrifa- gentrification <laughs> and displacement already got us. So, right. so, so we've been <laughs> yeah. get the Kevin Darrow. So we've been displaced by gentrification, <laughs> displacement, high rents. Don't let coronavirus be the the, the right. final. You know what I'm saying? Well, the black folks was here until the corona yes. got up, and then you know they was out. <laughs> we you know don't want to inadvertently bring it. If so. nothing else, <laughs> we gotta stay on to help fight gentrification and displacement. So you know what I'm saying? To to the young people out there in in the South End, right there near Rainier Beach. I mean, big shout out to Chief Carmen Best yes. and Officer Mullen because you know I mean when we talk about we want the Seattle Police Department to be more involved in community and community. Yes. Discussions, the fact that they brought this conversation here. You see what I'm yeah. saying? They could easily go and roll on these guys and yes. be like this and that and send people home with tickets. And things easily escalate. You know yeah. what I'm no, saying? No, they, they do. And I think, I mean, that's one of the things where I, as much as I'm for the guidelines and everything, I, I have been against, um, fairly adamantly against active enforcement because we know when there is active enforcement and you bring more of a police presence somewhere. Who is going? Get, you know, who's going to get hurt the most? And it's usually our folks. Um, um, just real quickly too, I do. You're giving shout outs to SBD. I do want to give a shout out to Denise Cookie Baldwin. Who oh, is, is that Officer Cookie? The Officer Cookie. <laughs> Much love to, to Officer Cookie. <laughs> Officer Cookie. Um, That's good know, people. <laughs> yeah, because I know she's been out there, and even when there have you know been been folks with younger folks who, who I have seen, and some older folks too, um, smoking more than just cigarettes. You, you know. <laughs> we made sure to just keep it, you know, keep it cool and let people do what they do. So, much right, no, no, that's that's what's up. I mean, we definitely, I mean, policing is an issue where when they wrong, we be ready to hammer them quickly. Yeah. But when you know what I'm saying, yeah. when they're doing what they're supposed to do, man, you know, it's only fair to be able to to acknowledge that and right. and to be supportive of it.